What is up ladies and gentlemen, how is it going? Welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I am going to show you a little bit different epic battle episode because this time I am going to focus on the amount of kills. The amount of destroyed vehicles by one player. Because a couple days ago I saw actually quite a few comments under one of my uh, previous epic battle episodes uh, where you guys wanted to see some battles with crazy or uncharacteristically high amount of kills by one player. And this is why I decided to make today's episode as I am going to make it. Uh, first battle comes from Stefan and he's playing with T3485M. Now, to be able to get the amount of kills that he's going to get, that Stefan is going to get from this battle, you need so many stars to be aligned. You need all the stars aligned, actually. You need your team to be, let's say, under average by skill. You need enemy team to be a little bit better than the rest of your team. So enemy team is going to get all the kills, is going to deal all the damage and so on and so on. And you need a lot of luck and some skill as well. So if all those things are aligned, bad ally team, a bad enemy team, luck and some skill, and a correct tank as well by the way actually, and matchmaking, okay, I'm actually forgetting many many different factors, then you might be able to pull something off that Stefan is able to pull off from this battle. Like, how often do you see anyone getting 14 bloody kills? 14 kills. I do not know about you, but I have seen those battles only thanks to replay system, thanks to replay finds. I have never seen anyone in my battles as well uh, getting more than 12 kills. I believe 12 kills is the highest that I have ever seen by one player that was in my team luckily as well back in the days, like a couple years ago. But uh, I have never seen anyone getting 13 kills, 14 kills, 15 kills. There are a couple battles out here, a couple legit battles with 15 kills as well, but uh, that is even more rare. Because uh, back in the days especially, a lot of those high, crazy high amount of damage battles or 15 kill battles, uh, something happened to the game client and almost all the enemy team was AFK. There are some replays out here like that as well. Uh, but uh, this one is fully legit. Legit. Panzer 3J has been destroyed, kill number 3 in the bag, and a lot more work to do guys, 11 more kills to pick up. D3485M in tier 4 matchmaking. This tank in this kind of matchmaking can be the best tank to play with. Seriously, D3485M is tier 6 seal clubbing tank at the moment. I would actually say in tier 6 battle it is a little bit better than type 64. Uh, for me personally, uh, even though Type 64 is out from this world, uh, awesome tank as well. But uh, Type 64 is a better all around tier 6 vehicle, like in tier 8 battles you can do a lot of spotting and so on, but in tier 6 battles, when we have 357 matchmaking, uh, tier 6 is the top tier vehicle, uh, D3485M takes the cake. Anyway, let's continue watching and actually let's rewind a little bit into this moment over here. So far, Stefan has killed every single enemy vehicle. Five kills out of five kills in the team. And he spots enemy artillery. But guys, look in the chat. Look in the kill feed. Enemy type 64 bloody crashed. No one in the ally team has done any killing. Stefan has all the kills plus that one crash. So 7 enemy vehicles dead, 8 more left to kill, 14 kills up for grab. Martyr 38 has been spotted, 1 shot, 1 quick shot goes in and 2nd shot goes in as well. Kill number 7 in the bag and we lost yet another vehicle, Matilda went down without dealing anything as well. So now 7 enemy vehicles left to kill, scratch it, 6 enemy vehicles left to kill. Together with the two tier 6 tanks, uh, those guys are going to be a little bit or can be a little bit of a problem, but let's see. Moving on, Bishop Artis last known position was in the middle of the map and he's still over there or maybe he repositioned to the other side of the rock but luckily his commander hatch is behind the rock so he was not able to spot Stefan back and Stefan was able to drag him and the Bishop Arty doesn't carry a repair kit so let's pick up yet another kill and really awesome to see that your commander or Stefan's commander has that, uh, what is it, eagle eye skill or whatever 
whatever shows uh, what is broken on the enemy tank. For example, on that VK3601H, um, track was yellow and uh, radio man was dead. Uh, what was that skill called? I cannot remember. Eagle Eye? Something like that. Anyway, VK3601H is moving in, no penetration, auto-aiming, maybe he's going to help out, enemy headser, let's try to take out that headser, meanwhile, boom, done, four tanks left to kill, ladies and gentlemen, but you just got spotted, quick shot goes into the VK, Thunderbolt, yet another tier 6 tank has been spotted, that shot was not the penetration, and you have only 133 HP left, you have 29 HP left, and you have been surrounded. SU-85B was also able to damage you and you are not able to penetrate Thunderbolt. Can you believe it? Finally, Thunderbolt goes down and 11 kills in the back, but three more enemy tanks left to destroy. VK-3601H, 199 damage goes in. VK was moving in, but T-3485M's reload time is just fast enough. And Stefan over here is doing something a little bit risky, because you just received one shot from SU 85B uh, from that direction and uh, he's moving towards those guys straight on. It was a little bit risky because only one guy was capping but not anymore. Both guys SU-85M and uh, that VK-3001H are in the capture zone. Our SAV M43 says go go D-34 indeed go go. 12 kills already 29 HP left. One man army indeed, and Stefan says, I think I can't soon. Yes, you can. And by the way, Stefan, thank you for uploading this battle to my replay site. It was really awesome of you. Uh, so two guys in the gap, one minute and 13 seconds left. You can actually play it out super nicely if you spot them. VK has been spotted. Quick shot goes into the turret. That was a penetration. Are they able to penetrate your turret? I am not 100% sure if they are able to do that under angle like this. SU-85M goes down. One more enemy tank left to kill. He just took the shot. So you have a little bit more time to put that final shot into VK and oh my god look at the chat as well really awesome to see such an awesome feedback in the game chat usually what you see is not super pleasant but all those guys were hyped 14 kills guys and he killed every single guy on the enemy team besides that crashing type 64 and maybe we can say that because of that type 64 crashed Stefan was able to pick up 14 kills because enemy team really needed that type 64 at the end of the battle but as I said at the start of the battle you need all the stars to be aligned to get battle like this and this is exactly what happened. So, let's take a look at the result screen as well. Of course, he was able to get one big fat ace tanker together with one of the rarest medals in this game called Razania's medal. For that, you have to get 14 kills. Pascucci's medal, Spartan, cool headed, high caliber, top gun and steel wall on the top of Razania's medal. 3822 damage done. Just look at the amount of damage done compared to the rest of the guys. Second guy in his team did 10 times less damage than Stefan did to the enemy team. 14 kills, 1843 raw experience. This is one of the most one-sided battles, one-man army battles that I have ever seen in tier 6 even in tier 6, because in lower tiers a lot of nasty things happen all the time, but in tier 6, wow, first guy did more than 10 times more damage than the second guy, yeah, 34 shots fired, 30, uh, 39 shots fired, 34 hits, not a bad ratio for this kind of gun, and he actually made 11,000 credits profit as well, because it was a tier 6 battle, or a tier 6 tank versus tier 4s, so you are not going to make that much credits anyway. But he did kill every single vehicle that he damaged. Ah, what a crazy battle, especially the ending. Thank you so much, Stefan, for uploading it to my replay site. Much love, but moving on. And for the end of the episode, I am going to show you one more quick battle with Panzer 1C. And I am going to show you why this, uh, this little bastard is one of the most played tier 3 tanks in this game. 
because almost every single player is going to have fun in Panzer 1C, especially in a matchmaking like this. This battle was also uploaded to my replay site by a player. <laughs> The Daka 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 Ganto. But this battle was also uploaded to my replay site by a player called Swartz or Squartz, or, or however you have to pronounce this name, I don't know, sorry. Anyway, two kills already in the bag. That Cruiser 3 didn't have fun time playing this game, and same goes to the L60, and same goes to the M2 Medium. In this battle you see a lot of auto-aiming, but this is what this tank is made to do. It is simply made to cruise around on the battlefield, to auto-aim, to kill all those guys with your little taka 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 gun. And uh, good to see that Swartz is not using any premium rounds. Um, this is something that you see a lot actually uh, from the Panther 1C players. Uh, players sometimes even run uh, premium rounds exclusively with this tank and this is just pure pure seal clubbing. Uh, but uh, this battle no premium rounds used and oh hello sneaky VAE type. By the way this guy did you see what happened? Type P, V A E type P. This guy died even before losing all its HP. Why? Because Swartz destroyed every single crew member in the tank. Can you believe it? He killed the entire family inside that tank. And hello, by the way, to Bonzer 2. This guy had no idea that Swartz was behind him and he was only able to damage him like three times or something like that. <laughs> that Taka Taka gun though, I don't know, I can't get enough of it. 731 damage done, 6 kills and we have spotted enemy Panzer 1C who just rammed our, uh, what was it, Vesp to death. Yes, this guy just rammed our Vesp to death and you can see the amount of no penetrations but only 4 damage was needed into the enemy Panzer 1C and down it goes. BT2 has been spotted as well from long range, let's do some crazy crazy sniping and yet another tank has been destroyed. So 8 kills, T3 HMC, next victim, auto aim on, auto aim activated and done. Done. That VAE type P, by the way, is still alive over there or still has some HP. <laughs> Hilarious to kill every single crew member. How many? How many? Uh, how many people are inside a type P actually? A three or maybe two? I don't know. Anyway, let's not waste any more time over here and let's keep enjoying this battle. We can see that Swartz is moving in, D29, full HP D29 is over here. He can potentially one clip that D29 to death, this is how much clip damage potential Panzer 1C has. And he was able to do that. Panzer 2 over here was picked up by our own Panzer 2 and only two more enemy tanks or vehicles left to kill. One RT and T26 who has been spotted in the village area. Now let's see where that artillery is, fully reloaded, auto aiming once again on the move. A lot of bounces, we can see a lot of bounces most likely from the lower plate because M7 Priest has that curved lower plate that can bounce a lot of shots especially from that kind of penetration. I actually do not remember the penetration value. Was that 23? Maybe? Guys, help me out over here. Uh, but one more tank left to kill and we can see that Swartz is asking for some platoon action. How polite guy. He is trying to give someone free crucial contribution medal. Because he has 11 kills already. If anyone who has at least one kill is going to accept his platoon invite, he can get crucial contribution medal. What a hero. D26 has been spotted and how about one solo crucial contribution medal? Yes, I, I take one, please. <laughs> So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was my battle for the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did, featuring our first 14 kill battle and this one as well, to finish off today's episode with a little bang. I hope you enjoyed it. Meanwhile, you can check out my Beast Mode Care Store because I haven't uh, talked about that for a very long time, so maybe there is something for you. Maybe uh, my newest design is something for you. And I'm working on something sick already, so stay tuned. I can't wait. I really cannot wait. Much love. Love every single one of you. Stay awesome. Take care. And bye.